Uh, hello everyone, my name is Kevin. Welcome to episode 10, WW2K18, my career. Uh, did I say 2K17? I meant 2K18. Renee, what is up? <laughs> Let's go talk to Renee Young before we get started on this Raw. What does it feel like going out there for a big match? Time to feast. Feels like I'm quenching my thirst. I'm thinking of all the ways I'm about to feast on the dude in front of me. And I'm drowning out those idiots in the seats in an effort to help the McMahons. Do you have any pre-match rituals you're planning on conducting before this big match tonight? Uh... I pray to the gods of wrestling that my sacrifice be taken to them. My sacrificial lamb is my opponent, and I hope upon the gods that is enough for their feast. Tonight, we dine, and no one can quench our thirst quite like my opponent All tonight. Can say is point taken. I, I, I kept my promo very, uh, or my, my, my interview very, uh, concise, and I kept it kind of on the same page. I'm talking about quenching my thirst and feasting upon things. That's how you do it. Okay, go speak with Todd Mullen. Where are we? One minute. Before we do that, before we go speak with Todd Mullen, not nah, what I meant to do. I don't care about that. This is what I want to go to. All right, so we're at 189 on Company Man, which means we're getting closer to getting corporate motivation. Uh, you can now receive an in-ring buff by talking to Vince before a match, and we're about 119 and 250 towards promo star. This allows you to get match buffs or get match buffs after doing a promo. You can also trigger a promo whenever you want when not engaged in a storyline, which we're about to basically be engaged in a storyline with Dean Ambrose. So uh, let's go. I'm going the wrong way. This is the way to Todd. Let's go talk to Todd Mullen. Bray, what is up, buddy? I want to beat your ass, but I can't because I got to beat Dean Ambrose's instead. All right. Let's go look at the match card really quick. Just before we go talk to Todd because I don't care. See, does Dean even have a match? He does. All right. Talk. Talk, talk, talk. Come, don't try to touch me, bitch. All right, take a look at the match card. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, fuck you, jackass. I should keep his default attire set as his, uh, his entrance attire. I like that better. All right. So, we're facing Darren Young tonight. Just got let go. I can't run in on that match. Cause, all right, we'll have to run in next week on Dean Ambrose, I guess. <sighs> run in after before his match or something and go beat his ass. Up next, we have singles action. We have one of our breakout talents versus Darren Young, who will reign supreme. It's not like they can't say my name. I don't see why they don't. It's weird. Uh, I might take a break. I might try to get two uh, blackouts in this match just so I can pause, go in the highlight reel, and uh, take one as a uh, bit for the video because I want to do an entrance video for Tyson, for Tyson Black, and I just have not had the time. So we're going to try to get um, a few clips of some of the matches over the next few episodes uh, so we can get a nice bit of stuff put in there. We're not gonna do his entrance, like the actual entrance, like this, though. I don't want to do that. Making his way to the and I did change the victory, by the way. So that's good. Michigan, in at Plus feminine, pounds, feminine now. The technician, Tyson Black. One on one action coming up here, guys, and I'm willing to bet. This will be one we won't soon forget. Totally agree, Michael. When you have two superstars as hungry as these two competing in the ring, you can bet it'll be memorable. And I'd Sorry also about that. like to add that this match will go along. Sadly, he doesn't come out with Bob Backlund from what I've seen. Which kind of sucks. I, I really wish we could see him come out with Bob Acklin since they have that entrance. And his opponent from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 
It's time to make Darren Young great again. Again? And the good news is that he appears to be coming into tonight with a little extra motivation. Yeah, he's really had a chip on his shoulder as of late, and it seems to have been helping him. Sorry guys, I'm on my phone. Just put my phone down before I get my ass whooped by Darren Young in about five seconds flat because he of that. certainly made a name for himself here in WWE as Mr. No Days Off. His climb to the top of WWE has been steady and shows no sign of slowing down. Until guys, I beat his ass. A rich history, and I know the competitors here tonight will do everything in their power to live up to that legacy. No, 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 no. Guys, I want to discuss Black for a moment. Tell us, what do you think we can anticipate seeing from him in this one? I love tag team. I love Royal Rumbles, and I love all the rest of them. But there's something basic and awesome about two superstars battling one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, fucking hey, Michael, A. Come on. To the chase. Let's see if the rest of this match is just as exciting as the beginning has been. I hate the fact that that kind of hap that freaking stupid weight detection constantly happens. Like I'm a light heavyweight, and this dude's not that much heavier than me. He's also, from what I know, of, Darren Young's also a light heavyweight. So like, it's like, come on, really? What athleticism! He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. Gosh, the same move over and over. This is relentless. This might be it. And there it is. That almost came out of nowhere. Did you see the impact on that? And we're gonna hit wow. blackout. He might have it. A mammoth right. slam right there. We're gonna quickly go highlight reel. It's weird. It's not as it's not like it was last year in career mode, at least. All right, we're gonna. All right, we'll do blackout. V D Young. Let's uh, go back to that and put a period there. There we go. Give it a minute. It's taking a while to save, apparently. There we go. Alright. guys. This could be it, guys. We want to get a nice save on that really quick. Running out of time here. Oh, come on. Get in there. Yeah, He's baby. It. That's how we do it. That's how we win the match right there. Get a nice blackout and watch him get counted out slowly. Here is your winner, the technician, Tyson. Yeah, this is my new uh Black. my new Big victory. Win, via count out. Hey, a win's a win, but I'm not sure if there are many people how you do on it. the roster that would want to get the No one wants to get in my way, Corey. Just gonna let you know. Wait, guys. Wow, you're trying to see the show tonight. Great work. Fuck you, jackass.
Oh, I want to punch him in the face. Backstage producers are jackasses in this game for some reason. Okay. Oh, Polly, 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 Paul, 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 Paul. How you doing? You certainly have a way with words, but when you're in the ring, you're, if you're not there out there to win, then all those words are meaningless. And you're not wrestling at all, and no matter words will bring you back from defeat. Good advice. Good advice, Mr. Heyman. It seems like they don't have the Heyman guy stuff in this. Like, I mean, I guess you could still become, you know, he could still manage you, but eh. Uh, how you doing, Bray? You can go fuck yourself. All right. We're going to run in. Hopefully, if we can, we're going to run in on Dean Ambrose next week. Yep. Grab my car. Thanks, you jackass. So yeah, if any of you uh, who have me on this on PS4, uh, which I think uh, some of you might, if you have um, if you have this game and you go play my career and you've turned Invasion on and you find Tyson Black in there and he says screw off to you, take a picture of it, go to Twitter, go to at the Game Station Five and tweet me it, and I will retweet it and give you guys a nice shout out in one of the videos. Because honestly, I'm I really want to see that. I really want to see what it looks like to see my guy saying screw off to somebody. Luke Gallows, and we'll, we'll we'll continue on. We don't wanna we don't wanna go fuck with him. Oh, excuse me. Again, we wanna try to see if we can run in on Dean. Uh, okay, Dino, where are you at, Dino? Damn it, I can't find him. Just one, just on time. If you're ready, take a look at the match card. Thanks, Jackass. I want to run in on Dean Ambrose. I don't think I'm going to be able to because I don't think I'm going to find him at all anywhere on the match card for the next freaking three weeks. All right, let's see. Bo Dallas, self-promotion. Me vs. R-Truth. Me Brock Lesnar vs. Big Cass. Those idiots. Those idiots. Those idiots. Those idiots. Those idiots. Okay. Yeah, I can't, I can't run in on Dean. That sucks. All right. Once again, we cannot run in on Dean Ambrose. Whew. <sighs> <sighs> The match we have next is going to be awesome. Stay where you are. We have one of the best talents on the roster today against our truth. Let's do it. I'm gonna say this scene in highlight reel. Let's do entrance. Making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 235 now pounds. Now about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. But I can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time to come. And I assure you, there is no hotter ticket in all of Los Angeles than right here in this arena. Really? He reversed me? I didn't get that? What the? DDT. Oh my god, this game sometimes, I swear. Truth, what a story this man has. So what can these WWE fans expect out of him tonight? 
Hey, he's a WWE hey. superstar, which means he's among the very best. I change his taunts. I change my taunts too. But does he have what it takes to beat his competition Come on. here tonight? That remains to be seen. Cocky fucker. Yeah, well, it's one thing to talk about taking out your opponent, but another to actually do it. That one I missed. To connect. I Great missed. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. Oh, come on. The WWE Universe knows that when our truth takes the microphone or takes the fight to an opponent, they're going to throw their hands Very in the air. Very happy, guys. I just found out. Um, guys, don't know. In Seven Days Die, which I, I've recently bought, uh, my uncle recently bought me. Um, you can find a bike called mini bikes for dumb shit or a book not bike um, It lets you craft a mini bike So you can kind of get around the game a lot easier. I just found that today uh, The day I'm recording this which again like like last episode. I'm recording this uh, On October 30th, so about a week or so before the uh, this episode actually comes out um, but I was able to uh, find the bike, the book finally. I found two Black copies of it too. Here. Not Our only did I find a copy of it, I found two. Which means my uncle can get the copy the so he knows how to make it too. To um, which is awesome. To do in the ring. Uh, so we can both make Our one. Although I've gotten one made for me and him already. More, I'm starting to make them, but I'm, I need some more things still. No uh, I gotta get the battery for his, the battery for mine, and the engine for both of ours. Or for his. I've got the engine for mine. So it's, it's taking a bit of time, sadly. I think that kick out Want to get some drama there. Try for it early. Comes up big with the reversal. And now he goes for it a second time. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, come on, man. That's a I fucking way. hit my that signature so canvas. bad, but nope, apparently not. Headed to the outside now. Smart move. Take some time to think things over. Dude, game. Not so fast. Not even one punch. Like hey, we're getting a nice drop kick on him really quick. This may very well so I can get my uh, stamina back so I can get my signature. Time. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going oh, to make some if he wants to stay in it. What? This Black is bullshit. Is to move slow. It appears his opponent has his no, number damn right it. now. Oh man, That's his on chances me. are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. You can learn a lot about a guy in a match like this, and what I've learned so far here tonight is that there's absolutely no quit in him. Boom. Oh, boy, he is his signature slam. Wow. Signature pull him in the middle of the ring. That slam caught us all off guard. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. Looking for the win. Incredible. This has to be it. Now and the uh, making a statement. Finisher. Oh, Alright, and then we're gonna highlight reel, because I'm sure this was gonna be this is gonna be in here, right? Yep, okay. Uh, we're gonna select and we're gonna call it because I don't know what I want this to be called yet. Um Darkness Rising. I think I like that one. VR Truth. And there we go. Now we gotta wait for that to save. But yeah, I, I finally found a name for this. Uh, it was something I came up with the other day. Oh, excuse me. And I figured I'd call it Darkness Rising. My finisher. So my finishers are Darkness Rising and Blackout, which are fantastic names for finishers, in my opinion. <laughs> There's the tap. This one's over. And I want to be able to have both my finishers put into this at some point. Uh, which I now can do. Here is your winner, the technician, Tyson. Damn straight, I'm your winner, bitch. It's just what I do. Yeah, I hope at some point they let us export our characters from this because I don't want to have to recreate Tyson Black just to put him into uh, 
you know, just to have them in my, like, universe mode shit. So I hope they give us a point, or at some point they give us an, a, an option to export our character from this. Um, if there's not one already that I just don't know about. Um, because I'd love to export Tyson Black, and then when Alistair Black comes out, give them a tag team. Uh, whenever the first DLC drops, because there's no news on it. Because of course there's not. I'm also very happy, because I get my check in a few days. Which, I, I, I know makes me sound like I want money, but, I mean, I do kind of need money to pay for some things. There were a few minor things I saw that we can talk about later, but overall, you are pretty good tonight. No shit, Sherlock. I'm the best in the world at what I do. And what I do is kick ass. No. Alright, let's, let's uh, go see if we can find Dino. Maybe he's backstage and we just, we, and we gotta find him. Let's see. Locker room. Akira Tozawa, how you doing, bro? Okay, let's check the uh, let's check the office. Who's in here? Nobody. Wow, man, that's an empty office. So shocking. Uh, is there anyone out in the parking lot? Roman Reigns, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, Renee's not here. That sucks. Got Braun Strowman and Grand Metallic back here. This one, just the dead treadmills. And back here we got... Vinny Mac! How you doing? Let's talk about some ruthless aggression. Pal, this really isn't the best time. If you got something to get off your chest, make it quick. I'm very busy. Make it quick. I promise, I'm always time. Just need to discuss some recent events. Actually, we're done here. Dude, I don't have time for this nonsense. Now get out. Sorry, Vince. Just want to talk about ruthless aggression, man. Let's, let's just go. Huge fan of your work. Keep it up, man. Thanks, Rubio. Matt Rubio. Okay, then. All right, let's, let's exit the arena. Got about seven minutes, 47 seconds left on this episode. Love it when I'm good enough at a game or a ga a games in general. It's where I can use my phone and do one thing on that while I'm also playing a game. Great multitasking. I wish she had a, a more heelish response to that. Like, no shit, I'm done, Jack. That's why else would I be back here? Something along those lines, you know what I mean? So that way it's, you know what I mean? It, it fit the heel for someone more. You're not going to say, yup, bring my car, thanks. What's up, Darren? How was making? How's being great? Oh wait, you're not. That's right. Let's go talk to Samoa Joe. Hey, Joe. How you doing, bro? You still need me to back you up from time to time, bro? You want a tag match? You want? So you've been pretty impressive in the ring. Really impressive. But to make it to the top, you'll need more than flashy moves. Fuck you. Oh yeah? Is that what you think? No. It's what I know. What you say is just as important. You haven't shown that you can get the crowd off, to hang off your every word. So why don't you go out there and whip the crowd into a frenzy? I'll have the meat all eating out of the palm of my hands when I'm done. It's easy to talk a big game out here. Let's see if you can get it done out there. Current week one slash total weeks two. Score 250 on this promo. Okay. You just subscribe. I know what a side quest is game. You don't need to tell me. All right, guys. We'll go do this in a minute. Whoa, that's a very glitchy Samoa Joe arm. 
All right, speak with Todd Mullen at the production area. So we're gonna have a promo. That means we'll have uh, we'll try to run it on Dean again if we can, and we'll probably have a match. I'm sure. Sorry, knock it off. All right, let's go see. Cyrus! Sorry, that's not for my dog. He's being a jackass. Okay, come on. Dean Ambrose. Damn it. Dean, Dean, Dean. Oh my god, he's in a fatal four way! Hate this game. I fucking hate this game. I can't. I, I haven't gotten the chance to run it on Dean Ambrose yet. This is bullshit. Might just switch to SmackDown. Big night tonight. Take a look at the match card when you're ready. No oh shit, Sherlock. Should give me a promo because I have that side quest. Oh god, his face is creepy. Alright, so I should have I should have a singular promo, right? Tyson Black for Samoa Joe. What? Okay. I, I guess I'm not scoring 250 on that promo because I can't get a promo. The match we have next is going to be awesome. Stay I mean me for Samoa Joe, that ain't as bad. Joe. That's not that bad though. That, that's fun. That should be fun. <sighs> Sorry guys. You know, just a bit. I don't see why give me a mission for a promo if I can't even do a promo. But me versus Samoa Joe. It's pretty fantastic. If I do the same so myself. I gotta watch the rest of the Defenders shows. I gotta watch... I gotta finish up Luke Cage, which I'm about half done with. Then I gotta watch Jessica Jones. I've already watched all of Iron Fist and Daredevil, and then I gotta watch the Defenders. And then November 17th, I'm watching myself motherfucking The Punisher. Because it looks like it's gonna be fun. Should we try to get Joe to tap to his own move? One on one match is going to be a struggle in every sense of the word. Neither man looks like they're remotely entertaining the idea of backing down. Yeah, let's try, let's try to get Joe to tap his own move if we can. Oh try man, to get him to tap the Pokemon clutch. Hey guys, is that the president over there? I mean, I know he's a huge WWE fan and we're in his neighborhood, but I didn't hear anything about him coming. Maybe talking about Trump, right? Closed fist connects. So I don't think Obama would be the person that would be a fan of uh, for a WWE. Guess, I know, but what do you expect from him here? The thing that's both exciting and a little scary is that in the WWE, every single match could be your last in the ring. These two know they have to cherish every single second in there. Did you, Corey? Did you? Oh, he's going to reverse me. Called it. spot here but he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound well he had to expect to take some punishment tonight you don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed is Samoa Joe not the champ anymore and he lands a nice counter whoops not even close what was he thinking he's going for it all Ooh, uh, that had hurt. Damn it. Try to get the reversal, but I missed. Damn it, man. Black is starting to move Come on. He doesn't want to let Ringscape, there we go. Control, guys. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off his attack. Guys, I'm more than a little shocked by his performance here tonight. A guy like him, given how much pride he has, usually puts up more of a fight. Not even close. Jeez, that was embarrassing. Take it off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. Gets 
gets taken out. What's he made of? Paper mache? Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You gotta make Damn it. a move eventually. Shut up, phone. Let's give it another 10 minutes really quick. Should be enough to finish this. Sorry, guys. Such a dangerous hold. And now Black is being pushed to the break now. Tonight may not be his night, guys. I know he doesn't have any quit in Tonight may not be my night. Fuck you, fuck you, dude. Free. He's got to be working on instinct right now, Cole. Looking to turn it around. Look out. He's not messing around. Ain't no stopping him now. Here it comes. No, oh, come on, it. man. He's in control. Nice job by Samoa Joe. There he goes to the outside. Remember, though, there are no timeouts Bitch. in WWE. Not today. Flips the script on him there. Nice job by Samoa Joe. Oof. Jesus Christ, man. Come on. Oh boy, he is rolling. He knows Angle slam. Olympic slam. Nice. Start screwing down. Pick him up. A trip to the local medical facility might be in order after that. He's not going to like this. Cooking your clutch. Locked oh, in. And he used his own move against him. Oh, so fucking close. Whoa, oh, so close. We almost had yeah, it, guys. We almost had it. All right, pin, 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 pin. Right there. It here. Damn it. I heard the slap, ref. I heard you slap it. The way I see it, this might be a good time for the finisher. I already hit my finisher. Well, technically I hit his finisher, but still. He misses the mark. He might need glasses, Cole. His eyesight is clearly compromised. Oh my goodness. No. Got me in that German suplex. The outside now. Smart move. Damn. Take some time to think things over. Oh, baby, yeah. A he could be out Come on, up, 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 up. Like Get him. But remember, though, guys, his opponent doesn't Not, seem oh, to be Oh, come on. Either. Oh, no. Uh, damn. Nice job by That's Samoa Joe. And here's Samoa Joe speaking his mind. Aren't supposed to bend that yeah, way, for a break, I figured like that I was coming. Our bars for. Oh, damn it. What? Oh, I felt the roll-up. I fucking hate that. I hate the fact that they can it. reverse a roll-up. Uh, you have to think that's it. You simply can never oh. count out. Oh, no, this is this. No, 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 no. Can I not crawl? Can I not crawl? No, 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 no. I haven't lost the match since doing this. You can go fuck yourself, Joe. You can go fuck yourself, Joe. Oh, my back. Oh, my goodness. Pin. Oh, real break. Pin. And there's the schoolboy. Class is now in session. Another roll up. I think we're at the point in this match where the finisher could be used. He thinks he has it. Oh damn it! That would've been awesome if I got it like that. Because that pin is so oh, that pin no. is so weird to see. If you guys have never seen that one, Which, honestly, I've never seen that one so. I'm just, I, I, I thought it was very weird too. Is he headbutting my fist? He just headbutt my hand. You guys saw that, right? That was such a weird thing. Oh no, don't injure me, Joe, you dick. Oh man, my God, I'm taking a beating. This is the worst beating I've taken in a match so far. You guys gotta think about this. I faced people who are relatively around my size. Samoa Joe is a little bit bigger than me. You know, I faced Back and forth we go. I faced R-Truth, I faced Darren Young, I faced uh 
Well, fuck else did I face? <laughs> I faced uh, Big Cass, who's a little bit bigger than me. But I faced Bobby Roode, I faced Cash Sona, who's a bit bigger than me. But like, most of the guys I faced have been around my size. You guys gotta think about that. So, the fact that I'm facing a guy who's the size of Samoa Joe, I mean, I'm not a... Cyrus, I'm not a cruiserweight or anything, but still. Like... Alright, I think I have it to act too, don't I? Yeah, no, I don't. It's just a matter of time now. But, but he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough There you go, it's capitalize? over. It's over. It's over. I just made the world champion tap. And you can put this singles match in the box. I'm in so my guy's in so much pain though. You can like you just gotta realize that my dude is in so much pain. Like look at this. Boom! Didn't even hit blackout. Just did darkness rising. That was the only that was the only finisher I actually ended up hitting of mine. Tyson Black is on a roll tonight, fellas. Folks, he's on a roll. But seriously, if you look at it, since coming to NXT, I haven't lost a match except for that stupid squash match against Baron Corbin. Every other match, my match against Bob, my match against Bobby Roode, I won that. Can't count the one where ba where Bobby Roode ran in. Um, so yeah, uh, against Cash Soto. I beat Cash Sono to retain my title. I won that tag match with Roderick Strong against the Authors of Pain. Um, I came up to the main roster. I beat Darren Young. I've, be I've beaten everyone I faced except for like a few times when Big Cass ran in on me and a few and one backstage brawl against Big Cass. But other than that, I've been on a roll of some pretty good wins. There were a few minor things. Ah, oh, fuck you, jackass! I just got my ass almost handed to me. And you fucking criticize me? What a jackass. Alright. However, it does look... Yeah, we can't run it on that still, so that sucks. Alright. Well then, that's gonna do it for this episode, you guys. Next episode, hopefully we'll be able to finally run in on Dean Ambrose. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed episode 10. I'll see you next time. Stay golden. Peace.